Hi guys, welcome to another video. I am Nature Guy X46, welcoming you to the world of nature. And today we are taking a look at chickweed. And chickweed is a low-growing plant, usually found right along the ground. They it does grow in mats. There are four types: common chickweed, mouse ear chickweed, field chickweed, and sticky chickweed. They all tend to grow in mats, and common chickweed has hairless stems or hairless leaves. Mouse-eared chickweed has fuzzy leaves and stems. It's a perennial. It blooms in early to mid-spring and has white flowers. Now, this particular plant has been a little bit frostbitten. It's not in the best of shape. But as you can see, the flowers have since spent. Um, but carrying on. The flowers have five petals when they're in bloom. Uh, leaves come in different shapes, from spatula to egg shape to oblong. You can even see it here. Um, some different shaped leaves. Stems may be erect, but are usually, again, along the ground. It can be found in a variety of habitats. Mine happens to be right from our front yard. It occurs in several countries. This plant is edible, and we will look at that later. I promise you, probably in the spring when it's more alive and thriving. One plant can produce 800 seeds, and those seeds can lay dormant for up to 10 years. So, pretty impressive. Leaves fold up before it rains. Pretty cool. It originated in Eurasia. Common chickweed. Has one line of hairs that run, run the line up the stem. And it actually can switch sides. The stem can be separated via an elastic little thread. I don't know if you can see that. There you can see it. That's one way you can tell that you have chickweed. Sepals are longer than the petals. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because there aren't any flowers at the moment. Leaves do not have stems, as you can tell. They really don't have stems. They come right off the right off the stem. And we will look at the ethnobotanical uses of this plant in a later video, again, probably in the spring. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Subscribe if you're not. And ask me questions because why not? That's why we that's what I'm here for. I'm here to educate you on nature. So with that, I will let you go.